Hey everyone! Oh my god, that was so weird. I'm trying to think of something different to do for my intro, but hey everyone sounds so stupid! Hey guys, so today's video is going to be Makeup Mayhem Lipsticks. It's so exciting! Um, I feel like I've been planning for this video in my brain since I started doing the Makeup Mayhem videos, but I wasn't sure of the style in which I wanted to film this video because it's not like palettes where you can just go through and open every single one. Lipsticks like accumulate and before you know it you have like 5,000 of them and I couldn't just sit here and just that would we would be here for days. Days I tell you. I know this video is going to be long. I feel like I say that in every single Makeup Mayhem video but lipsticks is going to be extra long. So grab a snack. Do whatever you need to do. Take your bath. Put your kids to bed because we're going to be here for a while. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to say. If you haven't seen one of these Makeup Mayhem videos, it's basically where I go through my collection. I get rid of some stuff. I give you like the backstory on some products, like if they were favorites or I didn't love them. It's just a, a different way to see my collection and to declutter with me at the same time. So, so yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have. So let me just stop rambling and let's get to the lipsticks. Okay, so a little backstory before we get started. Can you guys see Duke up there? Getting comfortable. So I have this bench here. This is from Home Goods. I'll do like an overview of it then, but I'm just gonna put the stuff that I have packed away for my new beauty room in the basement. I'm just gonna put it on here and I'm gonna keep switching it out because it's just easier for me to set it here and show you guys rather than just having everything like strewn everywhere. Because if you guys don't know, I have a beauty room that's being done in the basement. It's almost done, so I've had a lot of stuff like packed away because I don't really have anywhere to go with it. So anyway, this is the first batch that we're going to look at. So this bench, like I said, is from Home Goods. I did have a little accident. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I spilled some acetone, so we're just going to pretend that that's not there. But these guys right here, these are the Milani, I just call them the gold tube Milanis. I don't know what their specific name is, but they're really, really good drugstore lipsticks. They're pigmented, they're super creamy, they wear really well, they last long on the lips. I love these. I'm not getting rid of any of these. These are some of my favorites from the drugstore. I have been neglecting a lot of my lipsticks because like I said, I've had stuff packed away. But I think I'm going to keep these out and I'm going to start wearing them more because they really are super, super good. Super, super good. And they're inexpensive too. So if you guys don't have any of these Milani lippies, you need some. And then back here I have this tower. I'm not sure exactly where this one is from, but I will try to figure it out and put everything in the description box. I have a lot of drugstore lipsticks on here. I have a bunch of Maybelline. I have some Revlon up at the top. And I'm sorry if I sound out of breath, you guys. I tore some muscles in my rib area, and it's a little difficult to breathe. So if I sound out of breath, that's why. Um, I have some more Maybelline over here. There's a few Urban Decay mixed in here. A few Sigma, Calvin Klein, Lorac. There's just like an assortment. Um, these are the Jordana Modern Mattes, which these are really good lipsticks. I like this one. This one is Matte Blush. It's like this really pretty nude shade. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's just a really nice neutral nude shade. Um, down here we have some Smashbox. And these are all Wet n Wild. I don't know why some of them are going one way and some are going the other but this whole row is wet and wild. And that's it for my little tower. And then this guy, this was sent to me from Pure Cosmetics. Look, it says Nicole loves matte. Isn't that so cute? Um, let me take this lid off so I can show you guys. So these are the Pure Matte Liquid Lips. Um, to be honest, I haven't played with them enough to have like a formed opinion on them. I did wear this one. This one is in the shade Obey. It's really pretty, um, but I only wore it one time, so I don't feel like I have a good opinion formed on these guys yet, but the shades are gorgeous. And then moving over to the other side, I'm sorry if this lighting's a little off, it's a little dark over here. 
Um, these are three Jouer lipsticks that they had sent out to beauty bloggers. They're personalized. So one says Nicole, one says YWP, and one says Side of Sass, which is so cute. And then back here I have all of my Gerard lipsticks, which are amazing. And I have some of the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani lippies. I just think these look so pretty displayed together. Like all the gold, they just look so pretty. This one, Ex-Girlfriend, this is a really pretty nude shade. Oh, the lighting is so bad over here. I'm sorry, you guys. And then up here I have some Revlon lip butters. I don't really wear these very often, but I just think they look so pretty displayed. And then in this little guy, I have all of my Maybelline Color Elixirs. These are so good. I don't even know what to call them because I don't feel like they're a gloss. I feel like they're this weird hybrid. They're so comfortable going on. They're not super glossy, but they're they're almost like a, a balm mixed with a gloss. I love them. I had put them away, but I was kind of missing them, so I got them all back out, and I just put them into this little container that I got from Home Goods. And then this little guy is from ColourPop. These are all of the ColourPop Matte X lippies, which are bomb. They're super silky going on, but they're a matte finish. And I thought this was really cute, so I just... Eh, I just kept them in there. And then over on this dresser, I have this lipstick tower. This is from Sunny Cosmetics. I have some NARS Audacious, some Tom Ford, MAC, uh, YSL, there's some Dior, Charlotte Tilbury, Sephora, more Maybelline. I love Maybelline lippies. Chanel, there's a few Clinique down at the bottom. Burt's Bees, more MAC. This is so, like, unorganized right now. I mean, I guess I could have organized it for you guys. That would have been nice. And then more MAC, more NARS, Audacious. And then up at the top, I have just regular NARS lippies. And then over here on my other dresser, keep up. Look at all the lids. I just set them there. Um, I have some Too Faced La Cremes. They usually sit in this little acrylic holder, but I opened them up so you guys could see the colors. The Too Faced La Cremes are amazing. The packaging is gorgeous, the formula is really good, and the shades are so pretty. So I have this little guy. It's a little candy dish. Well, I call it a little candy dish. And I have all of my Too Faced Melted Lippies in it. It sits over on my big mirrored dresser where I have my most of my La Cremes. But I just brought it over here so I could show you guys. Here, you can probably see it better this way. I just think they look so cute in there because it's like a candy dish, but they're lippies. Yeah, I love this. I want to get a few more of these little clear containers to put lipsticks in. I think it's such a cute idea. Okay, so these guys usually sit on top of my Alex drawers on the other side of the room. I just move them over here because it's easier for me to like sit here on the floor and just show you guys. So in these empty candle jars, these are just Bath and Body Works candle jars that I, you know, I use the candle and then I wash them out. I keep all of my ColourPop lippy sticks, which I love the lippy sticks. I love the way they smell. I love the colors. I keep these out all the time because I just wear them so much. So I tried to kind of separate them between like darker shades and then these are like more nude shades. Aren't they so cute though? Like look how cute they are. They just look so adorable. So I always have these out. I think they're beautiful and amazing. I can't say enough good things about them. And they're like $5 a piece. You can't go wrong. And then in this little guide, this is a lip gloss holder from By Allegory, which I will put down below. I have my ColourPop Ultra Satins, which are my favorite formulation of a lip product ever. I adore these. My favorite one is the Rabbit, which is this like iridescent, hot, like neon fuchsia. It's so gorgeous. I've worn it before in videos. I really like this one too. This one's in the shade Molly. It's this really pretty like mauvey purple shade. My other favorite one, let me find her, Little Stitious. I just wore this in a video not too long ago. It's the most beautiful like it's a nude shade, but it has this weird, like, purple undertone. It's so good. Here, let me swatch it for you guys. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Let me swatch the rabbit while we're here. Are you guys ready for this? It's, you're going to die. Oh, look at that. Oh, that does it no justice, but it is so good. 
And then in this guy, this is pretty much the same type of holder. It's a lip gloss holder. I have all of my Girlactic Matte Lip Paints. These are bomb. They're so long wearing. They will stay on your lips for like 10 hours. One of my favorite ones, I think this is sweet. Yes, sweet. This is so pretty. Let me give you guys a quick little swatch. It's like a dark mauve nude, but they're just so pigmented and good. So I keep all of them in here. Oh, this one's really pretty too. Oh, this is Starlet. This is one of her best sellers. It's really pretty. Just like a perfect pink. Oh, yes. I could sit here and swatch all day. I just love these so much. Oh, Bashful is another good one. Okay, one more swatch. Then we'll move on, I promise. But like, look how pigmented they are. They're just so freaking good. So in this box, I just showed these on Snapchat the other day, but these are the new Smashbox Always On Liquid Lips. Um, they did a collab with Lily Singh. So she came out with this like really pretty red shade. And then I think there's 20 shades. I only have 10 of them, but I love this box that they're like displayed in. It's so cool. I really like this gray one. This one's called Chill Zone. It's the coolest. It's like a true gray. Have you ever seen? Wait, are we focused? Have you ever seen a lipstick like that? It's just straight up gray. It's so cool. Okay, so this is my tall Alex drawer. Well, one of the drawers. This is just an assortment of everything. There is so much randomness going on in here. There's some Laura Geller. There's the Balm, Lorac, Jouer. These Revlon guys, these were the Color Burst lippies from Revlon. They discontinued them, but they were my favorite thing that they ever did. So I have a bunch of backups because I love them that much. I'm so sad. When they're gone, I will just be totally devastated. And then I have some Pure... There is some Tarte, some Sigma, honestly, you guys, everything. Milani, Marcel, whatever Marcel is. Have you guys ever heard of that? I don't even know where that came from. There's some Kat Von D. There's L'Oreal. There is, what is this? Oh, my goodness. Quo. This was sent to me by my aunt that lives in Canada. Quo is a Canadian brand. Um, but, yeah, just a total assortment of everything. So over here, I have some Rimmel show-offs. There's some Wet n' Wild lippies, the original Kylie glosses that they sent with the jacked up wands. Um, these Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colors. I didn't really care for those. So I think I'm gonna get rid of pretty much everything that's in this little guy right here. These are all things to go. Back in the back there, I have just some extra Rimmel lipsticks that I don't have anywhere to put them, but I love these, so I'm not getting rid of them. They're actually really good. Let me take this out and show you guys. These Rimmels in the purple tube, these are really, really good. Hang on, which one is this? Oh, this is the one that I was looking for. As You Want Victoria, it's the prettiest, like, deep pink. I wore this in a video before and I got so many compliments on it. It's gorgeous. So I don't think I'm getting rid of any of them because I really like them. I just kind of, I'm hoping once I move into the new beauty room, I will be more organized. You guys, does anybody really think that's going to happen? Over in here, I have some of these Smashbox B Legendary Longwear Liquid Lipsticks. What a name. Um, and then I have some extra Gerard lippies that have never been used. Sometimes I throw these into giveaways because I sometimes will just toss a few extra little things in. And then I have some backups of NARS Recusion, which is one of my favorite NARS lippy pencils ever. And then in this Smashbox box, I have all of my NYX soft matte lip creams, some of the butter glosses, the HD, oh, high voltage lipsticks. So this is all NYX. It's just a total assortment of NYX. I love NYX lip products. So I just have them all in here together, kind of organized, semi-organized. Okay, so I pulled these two little boxes out of the bottom of my Alex drawer. I just brought them over here because, again, it's easier to show you guys. The lighting over there is just terrible. But these are the some of the LA Girl glazed lip paints. They look very similar to the Too Faced Melted, so I do have a few of these over in that big 
candy jar thing that I have the Too Faced ones in just because I feel like they look similar and they kind of go together, but the rest of them are over here. And then I have a bunch of the Revlon Color Burst crayons. Um, I do think I'm going to be getting rid of a bunch of these. I'm going to give them to family and friends because I just never wear them and I feel bad they're just like sitting here collecting dust. So some of those guys are going to go. And then in here, these are the LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lipsticks. I actually did a video on these guys. There's a ton of them. And then underneath, I have some Butter London... What are these called? Bloody Brilliant Lip Crayons, which is such a cute name. I don't know that I've ever worn these. I'm not really one for lip crayons. They're just not my favorite thing. Let's look at all of these different colors. I don't think I've ever used these. I'm going to give a few of them to family and friends, but I'm going to keep a few of the shades and maybe I'll swatch them for you guys on Snapchat. I kind of put them in here with the hopes of getting to them and then I kind of forgot about it, which is terrible, but I'm going to use them because they're really, really pretty colors. This one's in the shade Teddy Boy. Look at this pretty color. These look really nice. Like, look how glossy and pretty that is. Yeah, I need to use these. We're going to play with these on Snapchat later. Okay, I scooted you guys a little closer so you could, like, see actually what's inside. It's mostly Maybelline color whispers. I keep wanting to call them color elixirs. Color whispers. Um, the LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lippies. And then just a few random things in the bottom. I have some of these Borghese lipsticks, which I really like the formula of these, but a lot of them have big chunks of glitter in them, so I may give them away to whoever I think would get some use out of them. Oh, and I found this Bite Beauty. I don't know what this is. It's like a lip crayon. It's in the shade Peche. Matte Cream Lip Crayon Peche. But it's really pretty. Look at this. It's a neat like muted peachy orange. I think it's kind of cool. So maybe we'll play with that too. And then in here, this is just backups of things other than these. These NYX whipped, I didn't like these, so I just kind of threw them in here. But I have backups of my Jouer Tinted Lip Enhancers, which I love these. I love the clear one. I love the colored ones. They're just amazing. But I am going to get rid of these NYX whipped lippies. They're just odd. The consistency is very weird. I did not get along with these. So they're going to go. A backup of one of my Sephora, uh, what are these called? Oil infusion glosses, which I adore. And yeah, just a little bit of randomness. A backup of a Rimmel lipstick that I really like. This is Naughty Nude. Here, I'll show you guys. It's so pretty. I probably shouldn't swatch it because it's my backup, but look how nice that is. It's like so creamy and soft and good. And so. then in this guy, I have all of my NYX Wicked Lippies. Here's another Rummel Gloss, which doesn't belong there. And the NYX Simply Whatever crayons. They have like Simply Pink, Simply Nude, Simply Red. I got these when I went to Gem Beauty and we got this huge swag bag and I just put them in here. Um, I have used some of the Wicked ones, and they're actually really cool. Some of the shades are really neat. Like, here's a green one. There's, like, a dark blue. There's really cool shades. So even though I don't use these very often, I'm going to hang on to all of the Wicked ones because the colors are so unique. But these NYX Simply Crayons, I'm going to give away. Just because I don't use lip crayons that often, and... I don't know that I've ever used these, and again, they're just kind of sitting here, so I'm going to give these to one of my girlfriends. And then in here, we have more randomness. So I have all of the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. I think I did a video on these as well. And then I have the Bonita Velvet Lip Creams, which I didn't really love the consistency of these. They went kind of weird once they were on the lips. So I'm going to see if one of my friends wants them. If not, I'm going to get rid of them. Um, these LA Girl Matte Flat Glosses. I know that's weird. It's like flat gloss. Wait, what? Um, I'm going to go through these and I'm going to keep a couple shades. Like I may keep a couple nude shades, but the rest of them I'm going to give. I think I'm going to give these to my aunt because she's really into lip products right now. She's like newly into makeup and she's like a lipstick junkie. So I think she would really like these. And she's family so she can use them even though I've already used them.
Oh, and these guys back here, these are Bonita lip crayons. I never ever use them. I'm going to give them to someone in my familia. Okay, I'm doing this part vlog style because I don't know how else I can possibly do it. So this big ass organizer, I found at Home Goods. It is so amazing. I just filled it up probably like a week, two weeks ago. Um, and I do have some lipsticks in here, so let me show them to you guys. So in the bottom, let's get focused. In the bottom, I have a bunch of liquid lips. So I have ABH, I have some Jeffree Star. On the bottom is a bunch of Gerard, um, oh, what are they called? Hang on, let me look. Hydra mats. The Gerard Hydra mats, I have a whole row of them on the bottom. Some Sephora, there's a few Stila, hot makeup, the balm, there's a bunch of dose in the back there underneath. So this is just like my main liquid lip drawer area space. In the next drawer, this is a total assortment of everything, but these are like the lippies that I wear the most. Okay, so I got a little closer. So there's some NYX, there's MAC, Soap & Glory, It Cosmetics, Lancome, NARS, YSL, Marc Jacobs, e.l.f. Totally just an assortment of everything. There's some Bite Beauty in the back. Yeah. It's a mess, but trust me, I know everything that is in this drawer, I'm telling you. In this next drawer, these are products that I just got. So I have the Katie Cat mattes from CoverGirl. I have the new Maybelline ones with the blue lid. Loaded Brights or something like that. I can never remember the name. The Jouer Mermaid lip creams. A few new L'Oreal ones. The new Urban Decay Vice lippies. Oh, and you can see I have room for more stuff. I just kind of threw them in there because, to be honest, I didn't know where to go with anything. What is that? is that? What? Oh my god, it's a mark. Son of a bench. Okay, this is one of the drawers in my shorter Alex drawer that I use as my vanity. Sorry if the lighting is crappy. We are right by a window, so it's kind of throwing things off. But in here, I have all of my ColourPop Ultra Mats. So I just have this little, oh gosh, let me try to take this out. Um, I have this little container from Target. I love these. I've talked about these before. You can get them in the kitchen section. They are like six dollars a piece, but they're so good for storing stuff. So I have all of my ultra mats in here, and there's a few little random like these were. These came out at Christmas time, like the double sided ones. I just kind of threw them in there. And then in this one that I just took out, these are all of my Oprah liquid lipsticks, and these just fit together perfectly. Two fit side by side perfectly in the Alex drawers. If you guys have these same Alex drawers as I do, um, the Ofra liquid lips are amazing. I'm sure you guys have heard everybody talk about them. Formula, colors, price, everything is really good. And then in the back, I just have some lip liners. These are from Ofra. They had sent me a ton of their lip liners, which I need to try out. So I just kind of stuck them in there. I do need to play with them though. So you know what? I'm going to get them out so I don't forget. And then in the back here, I have some Jouer, um, a few lip products, but mostly Jouer, like the little eye crayons and things like that, just because I had nowhere to go with them. I am at capacity, you guys. Everything is in disarray right now until I move to the new beauty room, so just bear with me. And a random hand sanitizer because why the hell not? Okay, so now we are on my vanity. I know this is confusing, but I just have this little acrylic lipstick holder, and I keep this here, and it changes constantly. Depending on what I get or what I'm using, like, I keep my favorite products in here that I've been using a lot, and new products. So I just got these Gerard Supreme Lip Cream, so I just put them in there so that I don't forget to try them. I have my Milani Moisture Lock Oils, which I love. I'm obsessed with them. And then I have MAC Oyster Girl Jouer Skinny Dip. This was a limited edition MAC gloss. It's called Girl on Board. And then this little Chanel number 10. Here, let me show you guys. This is kind of hard with one hand. But it's just like this lip balm with a tiny bit of color, but it's so pretty and it's just so easy to wear. So I keep that there. It's usually in my purse, but I took it out for the video. And then in this little guy, I got this also at Home Goods. I have all of my Gerard 
These are not Gerard. These are Jouer. All of my Jouer lip creams and all of my Jouer glosses. So this is literally filled with nothing but Jouer. It's a beautiful sight. But I love them and I use them a lot so I keep them out so that I'm never without them. Come to mama. Okay, now we are in the old beauty room. Yes, Hunter, let me keep this up. For those of you that don't know, the old beauty room that I was in was always going to be Hunter's bedroom once he got home from college. So he's in this room now, but I still have the stuff on the wall. He let me. Just till my room is done in the basement. Anyway, so I have the majority of my NARS glosses up here on this little shelf. And the holder, I'm pretty sure, is from By Allegory. Again, everything will be down below. NARS glosses are some of my favorite things. And I was going to try to leave this here the way that it is. I have my 100,000 subscriber plaque. Um, I was going to leave it like this until I moved, but I'm really missing these glosses. So they're coming with me into my bed. Oh, and these, these are discontinued, but these were the little NARS like lip gloss pots. Baby doll, and what was the other one? One was baby doll, oh, Chelsea Girls. How could I forget that? I love these things, but I don't use them anymore because these are my last ones and I don't want them to run out, but they're so good. Oh, and while we're in here, I might as well show you these buxom glosses. This was a little holiday set and I just hung them on this little, well not hung them, but I set them on this little hanging nail polish rack because I thought they looked really pretty. And then I have a few tart lipsticks in the really pretty like flowered packaging. I also need to take them to the bedroom. So in here I have new lip products and lip products that I love. So I have the Urban Decay and Alice lippies. I have the new Wet n Wild Liquid Lips, which I have not tried yet, but I really want to because I've heard that they're very nice. And then I have Manny's collab with Ofra back here, which is stunning. If you guys have not seen it, you need to go buy it. And the Kylie glosses, which these are the new ones that they sent me as replacements. I have a random Buxom gloss and then the Milani Amore Metallics, which are so good. Look at this pink one. Oh, I die. I freaking die. They're so good. Um, my A few of my favorite Too Faced La Creme. Unicorn Tears is up here. Oh, yes, you guys. Look at Unicorn Tears. She's so pretty. Look at that. Like, have you ever seen anything like that before in your life? Are we even in focus? I don't think we are. Um, and then what else? I have these tart lippies. This packaging is divine. And these are... Oh, I really like these. There's a pink one that is so good. I think it's called Hey Sailor. Let me find it. Yes, Hey Sailor right here. This color. I wore this in a video. They're so freaking pigmented. Really good. I really like these. I need to wear them more. I kind of forget about stuff. Ugh, you guys know how I am. And then over here, these are the new Morphe lip polishes, cream lip polishes. I swatched all of them on Snapchat. They are really cool. They're super glossy, but they kind of dry down after like a half an hour. They kind of dry down and almost stain your lips. Really comfortable. I think they retail for like $5 a piece. So yeah, I like this one blush and there's another nudie pinky one that I really like. Ah, can I find it? Uh, is it this one? Individuality? I think it might be this one. They're all really pretty. So that is that. Okay, in this drawer that's also in my tall Alex, I have all of my Jouer lipsticks, which are amazing. I cannot wait till my new beauty room is done so I can display them because the packaging is gorgeous. The lipsticks themselves are amazing. They're just so good. And it's so sad that I have to have them stored away, but I just don't have room. Then in here, I have a bunch of the NYX butter lipsticks which I used to really like these but I don't know I'm, I'm I don't think I'm really into them very much anymore so I may give some of them away and then in the back here I have some covergirl lipsticks which I'm also going to be giving some of these away because I just don't wear them over here I have some makeup academy and then in the very back there I don't know how well you guys can see over here I have some of the L'Oreal, just the black packaging, the collection Privé, like the J.Lo ones, the ones that celebrities collabed with them on. And then there's just a few random 
some color balms from L'Oreal. This is a bourgeois lipstick, so there's just a little bit of everything. And then another one of my favorite Revlon color burst. These are so good. Oh, so sad they're discontinued. Back here, again, it's more of an assortment. There's some LA colors. There are some CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balms. Uh, Tarina Tarantino. There's a few um, Butter London lippies, some Pacifica, some Tarte. I need to go through that and get rid of some stuff. I think I'm going to get rid of all of the CoverGirl ones. I'm going to be giving away these Pacifica ones because I just don't use them. And I may also give away the LA Color ones. And then up here, again, it's more of an assortment. These are like lippies that I only have a few of each one, so I can't really like display them all together. But I love these Tarte ones. I don't even know if they do these anymore. These are the Tarte Glamazon. There was one that I used to wear all the time. I think it was Inspired. Yes. These are so long wearing. They're super matte and they wear forever. They are kind of drying, but they're really, really good. Like I said, I don't know if they make these anymore, but I love them. And then I have some of the Maybelline Baby Lips. They can make, what was that, Nicole? What was that? They came out with these like lip gloss kind of things. I like them. They're actually really nice. And then I have some of the Milani Amore matte lipsticks, which I was actually going to get rid of these before and somehow they made their way back in here. I don't know. I may keep them and play with them. A Fresh Sugar lip gloss. There's a random Revlon one. This is a backup. This doesn't belong here. A backup of my Bare Minerals um, Marvelous Moxie and Fly High, which is amazing. Like, look at this, you guys. Oh, my L'Oreal Le Mats and Lilax. I used to freaking love these and I totally forgot about them. You know what, I need to, I'm gonna pull this drawer out and we're gonna go through this over on the bench cause there's some little hidden gems in here. Oh, and these lipsticks, these are from Pure. These are really good. Let me see what they're called. It doesn't say what they're called, but I know they're from Pure Minerals. Really, really good. If you guys ever see these, I talked about them in videos a long time ago. The nude shades are really good. This one is Smooth Talker. Look how pretty that is. A formula is really good on these. Oh, it says cheers. Maybe that has something to do with the name? Okay, let's dig through here because I feel like there's some really good stuff in here. I used to always wear this Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bomb in Never Enough Nude. It will make your lips burn like a bitch. Oh my God, it looks like a little penis. Do you see that? Um, it's really pretty though. It does hurt like hell, but I do think that this actually does plump your lips. Like the Soap and Glory ones, I don't feel like they do much of anything, but this one, I think it does make your lips look bigger. This Lilac from L'Oreal is so pretty. This is in the shade, can I get a name? What the heck, it has no name on it. Oh wait, here we go, Choco Lac. This is so pretty. I kind of want to pull this out and use it. Let me swatch it. Oh, it's kind of dry because I haven't worn it for a while, but it's really pretty. I may pull this out and give it, give it some love. And then there's a Becca Beach Tint Lip Shimmer Souffle, which I really like these. I have a few of them. I'm going to pull both of these out. I think this is another one. Yeah, I'm gonna pull all of these out. I used these a lot last summer. They're really, really nice there. They have kind of that metallic finish to them, which is so on trend right now, and they feel really nice. I don't know if these were limited edition, but if you see them, try them. They're really cool. Okay, I started swatching before I was even like talking to you guys. I saw this and I pulled it out and started swatching it. This is in the shade Desert Rose. It's from the brand Noya Cosmetics. This is so pretty. I'm pulling this out. Look at that. It is gorgeous. So she is coming with me. But this is just random everything. Here's a Noya gloss, which I'm actually going to pull that out too because that looks really pretty. Um, there's an e.l.f. lip palette. There's some NYC. There's a random Mally lip gloss. There's just a little bit of everything. There's some Revlon, some Broadway True Mats, which I don't like these, so I'm going to be getting rid of these. Some J Cat. Oh my goodness, why am I screaming? L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Glosses, which I don't really care for these. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of the stuff that's in here as well. Lime Crime, some more Elf. So again, random schmandom. Okay, so I really hope you guys liked seeing my lipstick collection. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed over how many lipsticks I have. But they just, I don't know, they're like rabbits. They just keep accumulating. Rabbits? Rabbits. And oh, let me know down below, why am I screaming? Let me know down below which category you wanna see next for Makeup Mayhem. And I will link my other Makeup Mayhem, oh God, how many times can I say Makeup Mayhem? I will link my other Makeup Mayhem videos down in the description box. But yeah, let me know, cause I'm not sure which category I wanna do next. I wanna know what you guys wanna see. Maybe I'll do like a Twitter poll. Anyway, I think I've rambled on enough in this video. So thank you guys again for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you all next time. Bye. You can't just go around threatening people, especially when you're trying to get them to subscribe to your channel. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I just hate muscles. When I think about you, I hate myself. Ooh, it was so much fun. Oh my God, it was so much fun. But why are we even talking about that in my intro? And why is somebody cutting their grass? Damn you. Oh, so it's about to storm, so I should probably go. Why? Why does it matter if it's gonna snore? Snore. It's gonna snore. Oh, that was my fucking toe. That was my toe. That was my toe. That was my toe. Seriously, you're mowing the lawn at 8 p.m. Like, why not wait till 9 to start? And I was almost done, so I was almost done. Almost done. I was almost done. Mother French toast. Oh my god, wait. Oh, I need a minute. Ooh. I have been filming for like, oh my god, I look like I just crawled out of a gutter. Oh, don't look at my face. Don't look at my face. It's called crotch rot, and it is a real problem for some people. So if you know someone, or you have been affected by crotch rot, I don't know what to tell you to do because I've never had crotch rot, but clean your crotch. How do we even get started talking about crotch rot? Not we. Don't lump these innocent people into your sick web of games. You're the only one controlling this bus. You're the driver. You started crotch rot because you have it. You know what I mean? Like, you have to open every one, and it, it's just... <sighs> he just cut his grass yesterday. Maybe he didn't finish, or maybe he's a psychopath who cuts his grass once a day. I go with the latter. Or the former. What?